Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit, remember to click on the subscribe button down there and hit that bell as well. Posting new content every Sunday morning Central Time. Right now we're on a mission to explore all of the Texas state parks where you can take an RV. We're currently set up in Huntsville State Park. Lakeside, right there, how about that? But we're done here. We're packing it up. We're gonna get on the road and we're gonna head on down southeast. We're on our way to Village Creek State Park. So come along with us as we go pay a visit to the Big Thicket Village Creek State Park. Let's go. Village Creek State Park, Lumberton, Texas. We have arrived. Wasn't too bad a drive coming across the big thicket. We are in site number 19. This is a handicap site. 30 amp and water. You'll notice it does slope to the front. Not, not too awful bad though wasn't like when we were trying to get level over at Huntsville. The sights here are, are, are kind of kind of narrow, kind of close. I mean, you can see the, the neighboring sights on either side. And I bet during spring and summer, you can't see the other side. We just happen to be here in December. That is December, 28, 2020. We have a poly resin picnic table that is starting to curve up, a handicapped burn barrel, a bench, and the ubiquitous lantern hook. Now there is the chain link fence back here. I guess this must be private property. I don't know. But looking out there, you can see why they call this the Big Thicket. Village Creek State Park is in the Big Thicket Nat National Natu Nature Pre Preserve. Uh, I'll, I'll put it down there. <laughs> it's part of the, the National Park System. Big Thicket Pre Preserve. Have another handicap site right next to us. There are only 24 sites here. So make your reservations ahead of time. And there you have it. Let's go see some stuff. All right, so Village Creek State Park is on Village Creek. And this is actually in a national preserve, the Big Thicket National Preserve. Now, you know, I'm a small town boy, 
but that does not look like a creek to me. <laughs> that looks like a river, by golly, and a pretty big one at that. Anyway, need a drink of water? No, you're not going to get one down here. This is actually the day use area for Village Creek State Park. And according to a sign that I saw up there, there's venomous snakes and poisonous plants. So beware. So you have a group pavilion, if you want to have your family reunion right on the banks of Village Creek, they got you covered. There's even a big old cooker over there. Huh. It's like the height of a flood at some point. 17 feet. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. I just found something of interest here at Village Creek State Park. A fish consumption advisory exists for this body, this water body or adjacent areas. <laughs> you can fish, they just don't recommend you eat it. This is the day use picnic area, Village Creek State Park. Thought I'd give this a go on Little Red. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do any of the trails because of the sand. I thought this would be a good place to find that out. Too late in the day to go very far. Yappy will get worried. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Whoops, I just found out I'm trespassing at the cabin there's a sign that says it's closed and if you're caught here you'll be charged with trespassing so better get out okay i'm up here at the front office village creek state park uh, mainly because i wanted to get an idea of what actually was open so we were down here at these walk-in day use area and they still have some walk-in campsites open, and that's where that bridge is that we were on. That's it right there. But it looks like the whole beach area is closed, as well as the cypress swamp is closed. And that's too bad. I, I kind of wanted to see some cypress swamp. All right. Let's go Let's see if we can find some more stuff. There's not a whole lot of, of, of stuff to show you here at Village Creek State Park. How about, how about a campsite? This site number 17, handicap friendly. You can fit a big coach into that one. And there's 10 is open. And according to the lady at the front, she was full up. So I guess these folks are going to be rolling in close to dark. Another handicap site. 
I guess that's a shared. So it seems that some of their sites are not available because of safety issues, I guess. You have to be careful with this one. You definitely want to make sure you stop. It's pretty quiet here, Village Creek State Park. Although there is a train that you hear periodically as it goes through the town of Lumberton. I hear something coming up the hill. More to come. Good morning from Village Creek State Park. Sun is coming up and it is bright too. There's not a whole lot for a, the mobility challenge to do here at Village Creek State Park. Mostly it's all hiking trails or bank fishing down on the, the creek slash river. But we're in the Big Thicket National Preserve. There's a National Preserve or a National Parks Visitor Center north of where we are here at Village Creek State Park in just outside of Coontz, Texas. So we're gonna head up there this morning and pay a visit to the National Parks Preserve, a big thicket preserve visitor center and get a little more education on what makes the big thicket such a unique ecosystem. Meanwhile, I've been working, you know, you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I'm, I'm, I, I enjoy doing the the artistic hyperlapse video. Uh, and I've been using just an old, or not an old, but a mechanical rotator, but it has some limitations. And one is it's just, just set and go. You can uh, control where your camera, you know, the amount of panning, but it only goes the one way. It's always going clockwise. So if I want to do a counterclockwise, I've, I've got to adjust that in post editing kids happy kids can't complain about happy kids in the campground so i've added a new piece of equipment and on this journey i've been working with it and that is a digital rotator by Neewir. Neewir. it's pretty I've, I've got i can't go all the way around because i've got it operating but it'll go on uh, 380 degree, 360, 180, or 90. And then we have timed increments of 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. So right now I'm doing a, a 15 minute, 90 degree sweep to capture the thicket behind us and the way the sun and shadows are playing as the sun rises over there. So we'll see how that, that works out. It, it's taken me a little bit to figure out the remote that came with it and which direction it goes when you push the arrow. It, it's kind of backwards in my mind. Anyway, speaking of time lapse, I had a bit of a misfortune yesterday. I, I was down on Village Creek. As There's not a whole lot to do here, but there is Village Creek, which looks like a big old river to me. I had my Hero 4, so that's been my go-to time-lapse camera for, well, since I got the Hero 7. But I had it stationed down there with a battery pack to, to capture, you know, a four-hour sunset video. When I went back to recover the camera, after, just after sunset, it was gone. I don't know if it's at the visitor center in the lost and found or if someone felt that they needed that Hero 4 silver more than I did. I got to go check at the visitor center, see if it's the, the office, see if it's there. It's just frustrating, you know. I lost the time lapse, a really cool time lapse from Huntsville. It was like six hours of time lapse of the sun rising so i'm not gonna have a sunrise part for huntsville what you gonna do we'll press on all right so this morning we are going to load up and head to the 
Big Thicket National Preserve Visitor Center and get an education on the Big Thicket. So stay tuned, more to come. the Big Thicket Nature Preserve. What is the Big Thicket? Pitcher plants. I grew some of those. They eat bugs. There's a giant one right there. The Big Thicket is disappearing. Look, that's probably going to be the only alligator we see on this trip. Let's go see what else we can get into. Or I'm just sitting here enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. I mean, it's 72 degrees, sun shining. It's just a real pretty day to, to relax in camp. Spoke with a couple of people that work here at, at the park, uh, at the front office, and the, the guy that takes care of the grounds. And he was actually headed down to the creek yesterday after I set my camera up for the time lapse, the missing camera. And I've, I've asked all the park staff, and they don't have it. So it grew legs and walked off. It was absconded, and the crazy thing is I've started putting a card on there on my time-lapse cameras that says this is a, you know, basically telling them it's my camera and please don't disturb because I'm shooting time-lapse footage. And maybe, maybe that's why it went missing. I don't know, but I'm putting a shout out to you. You, my viewers, my subscribers, 
if any one of y'all has an old GoPro laying around, not being used, and you wanna you wanna part, you're willing to part ways with it. Uh, I'm in the market to purchase one. I just don't want to buy a brand new camera to do what I do with the the time lapse stuff. But I'm certainly interested in purchasing a pre-owned one that is still in working condition. And, I, and I'm, I'm saying four because I've got the batteries in the case and I've got all the, the stuff for the, the four, either black or silver. Not, not particular it's which one it is, but you can contact me through the, the contact page down there. And we, we can do a deal. I think that we're probably not gonna be doing much more here today. I know we're not gonna be doing much more here today other than sitting around uh, relaxing. So we're gonna be rolling out of here early tomorrow. We're, we're racing a cold front. And tomorrow it's supposed to be pretty and then the next day it's supposed to be ugly. And we are scheduled to be at Sea Rim for two nights. But that second night, that, that, that day, it's supposed to be ugly. So I've got two places besides Sea Rim that are going to be included in that two-day window. So we're going to be rolling out here early tomorrow. That's the point I'm trying to get at. We're going to be leaving Village Creek State Park early. So I'm going to close out that this park now. There's not much else that's going to happen here. Village Creek State Park, I think this is a destination. And you're going to want to, want to give it a, a, a couple, two, three days so that you can go out and explore the, the big thicket nature preserve. It covers such a, a, a large area, uh, and there's a, there's a number of things to see. Make sure you go to the visitor center and ask, because when I asked and told him my situation with you know having the scooter and I can't do any hikes, he said, well, there's two things that you can do, and you've seen those, or will see those. Uh, I'll include pieces of them in this video, but they'll be standalone video itself. But anyway, I'm rambling. Village Creek State Park by itself. If you're a if you kayak, this is a takeout point for the, the the kayak trail on Village Creek. That's a 20 mile paddling trail. As far as the park itself, love these campsites. Uh, I, I, we really like this little park. We actually like this park better than we did Huntsville, and Huntsville's a pretty park. But there's not a whole lot to do in this park other than hike. Just know that. So yeah, I would come back to this park again. And I think that you should put this park on your must see list. Uh, if for nothing else, it's just very pretty. It's very peaceful here. There's no road noise. Every once in a while you hear a train. It's not real regular though. Very pretty. All right, for those of you who have been following along thank you I'm so deeply honored for those of you who have yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well y'all come back now you hear